What's up YouTube? So today we're gonna to be going over the Rogue Fitness grandfather clock fat grip attachment. It's a pretty awesome device, very affordable, but if you're looking to build up your grip or your athlete's grip, it is just an amazing tool. It can fit in your gym bag. You know, it's uh, very versatile. You can use it on so many different things. We, we put it on kettlebells, dumbbells, barbells, plates, hanging from pull-up bars. Um, we do curls with it, deadlifts with it, farmer's walks, just dead hangs from a pull-up bar, pull-ups with it, attach it to sleds. It's just, you're, you're never get tired coming up with new plans for this device. But one of the biggest reasons why we use it is working with middle school and high school athletes, we've discovered they're very good at their sports. They have a lot of great training with that. They're getting some overall strength that's, you know, average or above average for their age group. But the grip, the forearms, their hands, very common for it to be lacking. And when we're dealing with athletes that need a good grip, there's just, it, I don't know, it's, it's a shame when you see them play basketball, they go up, they get a rebound, they come down and that ball is ripped right from them. You know their squat's good, their bench, their deadlift, they're clean. Everything they're doing is amazing. And then there's that one aspect of the game that it's just, they're lacking on. Now you're getting a lot of grip, you know, just doing basic barbell and dumbbell training. But if you want to take it to another level, it's time to start buying some grip attachments. We use a lot of bars here. We've got, you know, big three inch bars. We have bars that are squares, some smaller grip ones, but the attachments are awesome because you can put them into almost any like style of training, connect them to any device. You know, you can connect it to a lap pull down machine. Um, seat up rows, really anything that a carabiner can go on, you're all set with this. One of the most common ones we use it for is arms, where I, everybody likes arm day. I don't feel it's the most beneficial day for an athlete, but when you throw grip work into it, the athletes are excited because they're working their biceps and they're feeling all good about themselves, but they're actually getting a little bit more done because the grip work's getting their forearms done, their wrists done, getting a lot of squeezing. You know, it's, um, we have a lot of football players that they know how to hit, but what if the guy's running past them so fast they got to really grab on with their hands? And you got weak hands, you're gonna have a bit of a problem there. Um, your guy's either gonna get by you or actually gonna get hurt because you try to grab them, you're just not strong enough. Uh, we deal with a lot of wrestlers, and one of the biggest things I've seen with uh, our athletes is the basketball players, they come down from a rebound and so quickly somebody just grabs that ball and rips it right from them. But a good grip, you know, nobody's taking anything from you. Same thing with football players, they're running with the ball and while you're not like, you know, holding it in the most like grip designed way, still man, you get a hit, you have a bad grip, that ball's gone. And it's, um, nobody enjoys fumbling. And going back to basketball, it's, you don't come down from the, uh, you're playing defense, you come down from a rebound, somebody takes that ball for you, they're going right back up. So being able to build up your grip, it's just going to be so beneficial to your sport. We have a lot of these different types of devices, but this one, this field comes in handy the most. It has a more real life design to it. I mean, very often you're going to be carrying something like this. It almost puts you in a constant hammer strength, or sorry, hammer curl position. And I have another one down here set up to a kettlebell. So, I mean, if you're curling it, see, I mean, it just connects right to it. So while the biceps are working, this grip right here, it's just gonna really start the fire up. Sometimes we actually have athletes do farmer's walks in this position where they're just holding it right there. Um, but basically any movement you do with it, it is just burning up that grip. And what you'll find is if you're working your shoulders like I just did there where you're raising this up, by tensing up the forearms, by tensing up the grip, your shoulders actually have to work a little bit harder and the whole arm going from the fingers up to the shoulders it is just tense and burning up and i forget how much i spent on these things but they are not expensive rogue fitness has a just ever growing collection of these grip items i would recommend if you're going to buy a bunch of them spend a little extra money and get a few of these you know it's it's just very time consuming we have to be like switching them out. I mean, it very quickly you can just pop it on and off. But 
most of our stuff just, we have them already set up ready to go. I don't want to really waste time looking around for these straps, trying to find the carabiner that actually fits correctly. You know, it's, I mean, these are the same ones you would use on chains, but still, I mean, you can never have too many. It's not that expensive. But if you are working with athletes, it's probably time to start getting their grip better and you won't be let down. Not only will they start playing their sports better, you're gonna see their deadlifts are gonna go up. They're gonna feel a lot more confident with power cleans. You know, it's taking a lot of weight off the ground, going right up with it. And very often I've seen athletes start to go up so just powerful and then the hand gives out. And now that bar's falling. Um, deadlifts definitely are a huge factor in this. I mean, you can't deadlift without a good grip, but it's, it has become one of our more used training styles. The athletes also love it because we make a lot of contests from it. You know, I might just hang these on a pull-up bar, time them, who can hang the longest? So even athletes that can't do a pull-up, they're gonna discover that they can hang pretty well. And then very quickly they're doing pull-ups because they, they just get past that mental block of like, I suck at pull-ups. Well, you just want a contest based around pull-ups. So if you are looking to build up your athlete's grip strength, and I mean, you can get a good amount of these. I want to say to get both of these, like a set of two, it's going to be under a hundred bucks, including the straps. You know, they're, they're just, you will never get tired of working with these. So later on today, we're probably going to be posting some YouTube shorts with some of the ways we use these. So make sure to check that out. I'll try to get them into the comments once they get posted, but there you have it. The Rogue Fitness, Grandfather Clocks, Amazing tool. Thanks for watching. See you next time.